is you shall have no problems in SAT, ACT test if you always do well in math. Is that true? <laughs> mm, that's not true. Because in school, when you do the test, when you do the, the math test, first the time, you have abundant time. So for each question, you probably have five minutes, six minutes, ten minutes sometimes. All right, but in SAT, you don't have those, those luxury time. You don't have those options. Each question, it probably gives you only 75 seconds. In ACT test, it only gives you 60 seconds. All right, time is a precious thing. All right, it's a totally different environment. All right? The second thing is the type of questions. Well, when we do the school test, we know what we are being tested on. For example, which chapter, which section, which theorem, or that kind of thing. But in SAT, it's not true at all. Because we don't know where the question comes from. And they have many, many, many angles to certain questions. Which angle I should use? Well, those things will give students a lot of trouble. All right? Then, the third one is how quickly you respond to the questions. Why I put this one here? All right. The general idea for the ACT math test is not testing your math skill at all. Yes, it does test a little bit math skills, but mainly they test for how quickly you can respond to the question and how actual, how accurately you can respond to the question. That's the main idea. All right. That's why Peter said a lot of questions you don't even need to calculate. That's absolutely true. Because um, all you have to do is manipulate the information around, the answer will pop it out by itself. All right? There's no need to calculate. The last thing is very important. All right? The mass scale neighbor, neighbor equals to problem solving square. The neighbor equals to problem solving scale. Okay, the next myth is Solve complex math questions patiently during the test. Is that true? No. Because questions are designed to be solved in 75 seconds in SAT or 60 seconds in ACT test. All right? You cannot solve complex questions patiently. Well, if I really see a complex question, what should I do? Okay? Maybe I got blocked somewhere. What should I do? Should I continue? No. You quickly work back. Work around. So maybe you understand the question differently than SAT expected. Maybe you were seeing too much information, you used the wrong part. Oh, we don't know what happened. But you have to sit back a little bit, review the question, see if you have a better solution, better method, better plan to solve the question. Now, the, and there's a very important fact is you always have to think outside the box. Because the question was, is on the paper, but sometimes they were talking about something else. You can never see through it. You have to sit back and then try to find that key. All right? That's called the see, think outside the box. The next one says always solve math question mathematically. No, it's not true either. Well, what, is there any English major here? English major? Mm -hmm. Well, what's the difference between solve and the result? Anyone? All right, to my best understanding, solve, you just use any method to get your solution. What? Right or wrong, I don't know. But it has to be a good method, right, to get the solution. But resolve are different. Resolve, resolve means what you have a problem there, you have to break the problem into pieces and resolve every single detail and finally get your resolution. That's a detailed work, all right. But SAT, in SAT, you don't have to be loyal to resolving. You can use a solving method. Just solve it. All right, get an answer, including the plug-in. If a plug-in works, use plug-in. You don't need to solve it. Well, the other one, this one's rather, people not, rather not familiar with this one. 
street math versus school math. School math is the mathematical skill you learn from school. Quadratic, factoring, all those things. We call it school math. But what is street math? Street math is between kids. Sometimes when we solve a mathematical related problem, we don't even bother to think about using the skill learned from the book. Well, that's called the street math, right? Sometimes we need the street math to solve it, believe me or not. I have a couple of questions on the paper. It illustrates street math versus school math, and also solve versus resolve. Most importantly, thinking outside the box. I don't know what's wrong with this slide. <laughs> hey, they hide together. What? But anyway, the last one, the thinking outside the box. Can you fix the slide? Just go back. Yeah, go back. Okay, all right. Well, you hide there. So I hope you you work perfectly. Just uh, wrong place at wrong time. Anyway, oh, still here. Next one. All right. Okay, mental math can save time. Oh, a lot of children, a lot of students love mental math. When you see their work, nothing on paper, but answer just popping out. So this is a common problem, all right? This is a really, really bad habit. Because like Peter said, if you don't put down your staff, nobody can know why you got it wrong. Or why you got it right, all right? So put something on the paper so we can know. And if you use mental math, you have accuracy concern. Well, I don't know everyone, but my mental math is about 60% accurate. Really, really bad, all right? <laughs> Consider between steps. After three steps, my chance to get it right using mental math is really slim. Anyway, I don't like mental math. Well, the other problem with mental math is when you have time to do double checking, well, this doesn't help you at all. Because you have nothing to trace. You have to start from scratch. So it will not save any time if you use mental math. Right? Oh, this is a very important one. Do not make a guess or do make a guess. Which one? Neither one. None of them right. So making a guess or not, you have to check the rules. In SAT, they have something called the guessing penalty. If you bubble something wrong, they deduct quarter of a point. Oh, be careful. And in ACT, there's no such rule. All right? That means you are encouraged to bubble anything you want. All right? If you feel that should be bubble, bubble it. Oh, of course, if you don't know the right answer. If, you're right, you, if you know the right answer, you should bubble the right answer. Right? 